Hello everyone. So today in this video, we will see how we can navigate to other form from one form. So suppose if we have uh, this is dynamic sales trial and we have let's say account and we have this custom button button 2 or button 3 whatever. So if I click on this one, it should navigate it to me, navigate me to leads, opportunity or any custom entity form and also if I want to populate like uh, some details are already available in this account form so I want to populate this fax, phone, actual revenue, primary contact all these things in the new form suppose in the contact form so we are going to see that implementation today now in the previous video we have already covered on the click of this button how we can open HTML web resource so we are going to use the existing button if you want to know more about it here I have already shown in the previous video call HTML web resource so here on the click of this button this HTML web resource was opening and uh, this is just a basic HTML invoice number XYZ it was showing here so to know uh, its implementation and to see the refer the code you can come here okay in this blog uh, also here if you want to see implement here it is like so uh, they should come here see on the click of this button it's loading I'll just show you the implementation so that it will be uh, easy for you to understand we have already developed a button see on the click of this this interface opened and uh, in the previous video we also saw how we can create a custom button so for that you need to have a ribbon workbench so I already have installed it in the previous video as well and there we had created one button this button 2 and uh, this command so in the previous video the we are using the same we are going to use the same JavaScript uh, web resource it is which is Dynamics JS okay and uh, the the, pre the only difference is the previous function name was some uh, open web so something else but now we have changed it to open contact because I'm going to open a contact form on the click of this button okay so now let's check what fields we want to populate into another form so if you have followed my previous video you just need to change the you open the ribbon workbench and in the command you just change the function name whatever you want uh, like for me it is open contact change it and we are going to just publish it once you publish it then you create another function called open contact and put it in the your uh, web resource okay that that's it so now here in the account form I want to populate uh, what let's let me go to another contact So here, I'll just take an example of one uh, text field and one uh, lookup field and some uh, drop down values. Okay, here we have contacts and Alex Baker. Okay, so now suppose if I click on this button, I want to populate. Uh, here I have already created some fields, so that here uh, in this video it should not take much time. So I have created one. Uh, what do you call? one lookup field one drop down field and one uh, this uh, see this primary contact I want to populate this one with this primary contact we have Kevin Martin here right or if you come here here also it's the same value either if it is in header or wherever I want to populate this one to this primary contact if you see the logical name of both the forms are different logical names Okay, here it is uh, new primary contact and if I come here I think here it will not show the logical name but yeah this is out of the box field name okay primary contact ID and this one is new underscore primary contact so I want to populate this one as well as I want to populate uh, let's say this is a contact form so here I want to uh, give the reference of the parent account so for that let me just refer once again clear this one clear logical names clear logical names clear logical names so uh, suppose if I want to give the reference of the previous parent uh, entity from where this account uh, this contact is being created so this is the con uh, account lookup and I want to put the record this record like whenever like there may be thousand of accounts right so whenever I'm trying to create a new contact from this one so dynamically it should take the value of that existing uh, account and it should put in the contact field here 
okay and also suppose you have drop down values suppose fruits apple mango banana anything so whenever uh, a, co a contact is being created from the account then uh, by default it should take like uh, a contact created from the account Sim simply I have taken item 1 and item 2 okay so now one thing here to note is uh, if, if you see this one option set value here it is item 1 and item 2 but in the code we are, we are not going to use item 1 and item 2 for this we need to know the value of this field option set so for that let's open the form and check what is the value because we need the value in the code to implement it so this is the form I have opened and this is the option right so going to option okay and you need to note down the value of this one replacing the commas whenever you by default whenever you see any value in the dynamics it will be with the commas okay so you just uh, remove that comma here I have already changed the value of this option set values coming here simple option set item 1 and item 2 so there may be 10 of items so I want by default this item 2 whenever uh, and contact is a uh, contact is created from <coughs> from the account if it is created normally it should not pre-populate or uh, put any default values but right as of now I am going to use this value see here if you see this is the value by default it will be something XYZ so note it down <coughs> now I am going to show you the JavaScript which I have already written that's not much difficult but I'll just explain you the logic and I'll put the code in the in my blog so that you can refer it if required okay leave it okay so just close this one here if you come this is the JavaScript so the first thing what we are doing is we are navigating to contact form from the account and we are pre-populating it so first of all we are getting the GUID of the what is this primary contact so if you come here in the account form see in this contact I want to populate what is primary contact this one right <coughs> so I am getting the GUID of this primary contact okay this code explains that primary contact ID is equal to this is the variable name and here you need to put the logical name of the field okay now we have got this GUID now where you want to redirect it whether it's lead or opportunity or some other or any other custom entity so that logical name you need to put it here okay if it is uh, employee or if it is a student any anything you just put the logical name of that where you want to navigate it to so for me it is contact so I've given this one here now default option for value so it's nothing but here we have the option right here we had the option of item 1 item 2 basically it is 1 and 2 in the back, back end so what do you want I want it to be 2 item 2 so you just keep this one do not enclose it in uh, double quotes like this once again okay if you enclose it uh, it's not going to work properly do not enclose it let it be as it is okay with the number and now get the GUID of the account record so this account record I'm getting because if you see here whenever we click on this button I want to populate this exactly this record into this account here the parent one so what I need to collect I need to collect the GUID which is here this one okay I need to collect the GUID so here I'm collecting the GUID of the current which is opened one and in case if you want to see what are the values being passed into this this uh, logical name default value or the account record you can just put uh, your code console.log account record id or op default option set anything and you can go into the console i'll show you that as well so uh, let me just put it whatever the values we are put if i want to see uh what are this default option set okay this one okay so both this I'll see some, sometime what happened uh, it will not collect the value that time we may get error like undefined or something like that so those things we can use console.log to check what are the values passed whenever we are clicking on the button okay now this is the this is the UR which we are constructing like on the click of that button where it should redirect okay so it is redirecting no, uh, to this one contact entity logical name whatever you have given for your uh, like a new entity I told leads opportunity contact anything it will redirect to that entity main form okay now the lastly uh, this is one second so lastly we were we are pre-populating now this is the code for pre-populating okay here what we are using is we are using extracts it is used to pre-populate and here pre there are total three fields one is new primary contact 
here if you come and see we have in the contact I'm going primary contact option and account so we need to use their logical name this is the first one and I'm putting primary contact ID this value here okay this GUID now this is new option set value so what we am putting putting two this one if you see here this value I'm putting by default and in the new account here I'm putting the the parent record so here we are getting the parent record at uh, page dot data entity get ID okay now it is going to open a new record from new record on the click of this button so this is all about the code okay and uh, just copy it control C and here we have I think where is it if you go to the solutions contact not this one okay instead of going anywhere just go to your this is the uh, I think this is main customization customize everything so go to your web resources okay and in the web resource we are going going to put the updated code there it's not opening let's see okay. so the name is which we have used here is dynamics js loading just a second here you can see web resource you make sure that there may be multiple uh, names uh, some duplicate and all similar names make sure you are using only you are modifying this one okay because here on the click of this button we have we are we are using this function open contact if you are putting in another functional it's not going to work so here I'm going to open that I think it's already open dynamics JS okay click on edit text editor this one I have already done I'll just put it put the updated one click on OK let's save it and publish publish and we are going to see what are the values being passed to console log account record ID as well as default option set value okay so here I think it should pass the uh, GUID and uh, here in this one it should pass 2 okay coming here it's published come here give a hard refresh okay this button let it enable Okay, once here, what is it? Is it populating or not? Primary contact, this one populated. Let's see what is the primary contact we have. We have Kevin Martin. The same thing, whatever, whatever is set here. Another one is option set item two. Okay, fine. And the account name. Currently, it is showing as no name because the record is just now created. It's not. We have not saved it. So maybe because of that, it is not showing the name. I think as soon as we click on save it should show the actual name okay it is showing the actual name a datum corporation okay we have opened the same one so uh, now in case if you want to solve this issue like uh, whenever you are clicking on this button and it's not showing the name that one we are going to see in the new video okay and now let's see what are the values being passed in the console.log so coming here uh, function f12 So if you see this one is, let me just give a reference. Now this is a this is an important part because uh, see every time you write a code it's not going to execute or work properly. So you should know how to debug the code or how to see where the where the code is failing. For that we use developer mode. So click on the button 2 now okay here what is it so this is the GUID I think this is the GUID of this one of so primary contact and this 2 is the default value options so that's all for today and uh, <coughs> in the next video we will see uh, some other requirement like uh, the first one one second let me just close it so now suppose uh, if there is some requirement like uh, we have the first name and the last name or, or let's say here we have uh, some amount okay amount like uh, total balance and here if someone want to withdraw the money okay so we have let's see the option of how much you want to withdraw so in, in the next video we'll uh, 
will uh, show some confirmation message warnings as well as uh, we will see the validations like uh, if whatever the money he want to withdraw from this new contact it should not exceed from the existing contact okay if the existing contact have money 100 and if the contact wants to withdraw money 150 then it should show first uh, are you sure you want to withdraw this much xxx money and then it will check if the money in the other field entity or sorry on the other form entity is there or not if it is not there or if it is less than the whatever he tried to he's trying to withdraw it should it should show some message and it should not allow him to proceed with the, this transaction or with this saving the record so we are going to see that in another video in case if you are facing any issue or anything you can just put it in the comment also i'll be putting the whole code of uh, this how you how i have executed this one into into this my blog okay i'll put the reference in the comment section as well and for the previous video how to create the button you can just refer this video call html web resource on click of the button yeah, that's all thank you so much